So this is your last chance to preheat the oven. So if you haven't preheated the oven, do that. And also you should spray your donut pans with some Pam. And the other thing is have a wire rack ready. Does it matter which Pam, the one with the baking flour or the other one? It doesn't Does need to have the flour. It could just be the regular. I'm just going to say with Pam, they have this thing that's not healthy for you, carrageen. So they have, make ones that don't have that in it, which is a lot healthier for you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Once you do that, you can, if you have a stand mixer, you know, prepare it. You can put the butter, the vegetable oil, white sugar and the brown sugar all together. This is funny because it's all in those little, you know, when you watch cooking shows, that's what I did. I put them all in these little containers. So then I'm going to turn it on. I turn it on low. One time, one more time, the, the, the butter, yeah, go ahead. The, the butter, the oil, the white sugar, and the brown sugar. Okay. So, so we don't all make so much noise that when you're using your mixer, you might want to put yourself on mute. You don't oh, have yeah, to. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Butter is going to be the one that doesn't mix in as nicely. You're going to have to scrape it down from the... Did you use uh, light brown or dark brown sugar? Use a spatula to scrape down. And if you're using the stand mixer, make sure you get to the bottom of the, the uh, bowl. It'll take a couple of minutes to do this, and I'll show you what it should look like when I get to the right stage. If you're mixing by hand, you're going to have a very strong arm. Well, it's not perfectly smooth. It's mostly smooth. I'll show you. Oops. I have a light. So it's mostly the same. There's no big chunks of butter, but there's little chunks of butter. Good. Then you're going to put your eggs in and mix it up. And this should help smooth it out. I'll show you what mine looks like. Now I know why the Food Network has cameras overhead. <laughs> I did learn that I don't talk as much as I should because I'm not a Food Network star. But it's, it should be smooth, a thick batter, or not thick, but it's definitely a batter with some butter chunks in it. Oh, that looks good. Make sure you get the bottom of your bowl, if you, especially if you're using a stand mixer, make sure you scrape those sides and the bottom. Then I'm gonna add the baking powder, baking soda, nutmeg, salt, and vanilla. And I get my vanilla from the Spice House in Illinois. Wow. 
It's really powerful, so you can use half the amount. It's where Julia got her spices, so I trust her. Mix it up until you can't see this, the, uh, there's no clumps. Can you tell us the spice house you use? What's it called? It, it's called? It's called the Spice House, and it's in Evanston, Illinois. Oh, okay. Thank you. So when you Google it, do Google Spice House Evanston, Illinois. Their cousins own Penzies, that the one that's in Arlington. Stephanie, do you, use, do you use dark brown or light brown sugar? Whatever I have. So they actually are not friendly with each other, the, the Penzias and the Spice House families. They, they are not, but usually I order it from Evanston, but if I'm in a pinch, I'll go down to uh, yeah. Arlington. So the, the, pri the price of vanilla has just gone crazy. Oh, it's outrageous. Uh, yeah, well, then wait till you see what the Spice House charges. I, I wasn't <laughs> going to say that, but yeah. <laughs> well, I was going to order some from King Arthur, um, and I actually changed my mind. It was <laughs> way too much money. <laughs> I mean, 40 Is Stephanie? Yeah. Stephanie, can, for milk, is it okay to have skim milk? I have skim milk that's also, also lactose free. Okay. That's what I use. Okay, good, good, good. So and I have I, vanilla from Costco. That's fine. It's just, you know, um, they're different powerful. They're like yours, you'll probably need a little, you'll need the full one, uh, one teaspoon. I only needed a half a teaspoon. Okay. Are we up to the milk yet? No. Nope, then that's the next part. So what we're going to do is you're going to alternately add flour, then milk, then flour, then milk, then flour. You want to start and end with flour. And those of you that have stand mixers, watch out because you don't want a puff of flour. So we're mixing, not stirring. Say that again? We're mixing, not stirring. I, I always use a mixer. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna put about a third of the flour in. And then about half of the milk. And then I'm gonna to scrape to make sure I get everything from the bottom and the sides. I'm going to add another third of the flour. I'm going to add the rest of my milk. And then I'm going to add the remaining of my flour. Way ahead of me. <laughs> And then you're going to see it develops into a nice bat, a thick batter. But I, you know, I'm going to scrape down my sides to make sure. And you can smell the nutmeg, or at least I can smell my nutmeg. Smells like Havdella. <laughs> Batter. It's, I can see specks of nutmeg in mine. I'm gonna turn my computer so I'm on my other side of my counter. I just have to wash my hands. So the next step is spooning 
putting it into your pan. This I have not found a good elegant way of doing this. So I have two soup spoons. And I just put it in the pan. I'm gonna show you what it, you know, it's probably a half to three fourths full. Okay. Maybe two thirds full. Don't fill up the pan, is that what you're saying? Do not fill it so it's overflowing. Right, because you have to rise. A big old mess. And if you have a mini pan, you might want teaspoons instead of tablespoons. So what do the two teaspoons do? I just to scoop it out. I scoop it and put it in here. My nice things in the way, so. Should we, uh, should we be spooning it into the um, the donut? Putting it into the donut pan. Okay. And then I smooth out the top so that it looks even. I don't go super crazy, but. How do you know if you have a mini pan? So the, this is a standard pan and it has six donuts and they're, it's about three inches in diameter, each, each donut. Oh, I think mine's smaller than that. I know that Terry has a mini one. She, you wanna show? Stephanie, can you show us what it looks like when you've filled it up? Like you said? Yeah. Oh wow, they're so much neater than mine. I, smooth, well, I took the spoon and I smoothed the top. So how much, um, we have a, it looks like we have a lot of batter. So I can make 12 sta standard donuts. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm minor mess too, Jill. <laughs> Did you yeah, mine kind of messy. Did you yeah, take yeah. your spoon? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Up next at five thirty, a wild ride for an adrenaline Okay, so whoever has their TV on should turn it off. <laughs> so um, the the recipe from um, what you call it? it's from uh, King Arthur said you could add other stuff. So I told Stephanie that I happen to have little mini chocolate chips, so I'm going to put some of those in and try it because chocolate is a key element of life in my house. So Terry, did you fill up both your standard and your mini pan? No, I'm filling up the mini pan just plain and I'm gonna do the this the, the other one I'm gonna fill up hopefully with um you know and put some chocolate chips in it. But yeah, I think I can do that. I think I have enough stuff for it. Can you use regular sized chocolate chips? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> the recipe said you could, but it said they prefer minis. Uh, yeah. I like how, um, you know, on King Arthur, they give you all sorts of tips because not all of us are a Stephanie who know how to follow a recipe very well. So. I also like that they have videos. Yeah, the videos are cool. I We went to uh, Canada and on the way back, we stopped at, you know, at King Arthur and it was just quite an experience. So where, was, where is it? Where is it? 
in Vermont? Um, I forget where in Vermont, but um, they have a. It's near Dartmouth. Yeah, College. they have a cafe. You can go. We stopped for lunch. Um, we wanted to stop when they had a class, but the classes were in the morning, and we didn't make it till the afternoon. That's well, my baking club I had reserved a, a class in in June because um, I have a, a group um, with Robin Birnbaum. We have a a baking group, and we oh, really? had a, we had planned a road trip, the five of us, to go up to Vermont for the day. But of course, they canceled the class. Didn't happen, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's too bad. Their classes are amazing. So I I, know. I did it all in a day. I woke up at 5 a.m. Yeah, and I drove wow. up. Well, that, yeah. I did an eight-hour class. They fed us a terrific lunch. Eight-hour okay, class? What were you making? I made chocolate cake, yellow cake, white cake. And then in the afternoon, we made two types of frosting. Wow. Oh, what a and day. Then and they get, gave you a coupon to shop in their store. And of then course. I drove home and I had two cakes. And of course, my kids are at camp. So we had to invite people over to help us consume the cakes. <laughs> so my, my older daughter did a, a cake decorating class when she was like in seventh grade. And it was like four weeks. And every week you had to bring a cake, right? <laughs> And oh my so God. it was it was a killer because first of all they came back gorgeous but you know like what do you need four weeks of cake you know <laughs> so once you're done stick it in the oven for um 10 minutes okay and if you have a mini you said to make it less time i would make it at six minutes and start checking at six minutes okay so, so Stephanie, do you think that these are mini? Is this regular or mini? I think it's those regular. are regular, regular, Penny. Those look like regular. You think? Okay. Mine too. So, that's a regular one, Jen. Right, thanks. I'm eating muffins because that's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll have donut muffins. And it's... What about um, sprinkling sugar on top or something? So you're going to do that. Yet. <laughs> yeah. You're going to, after 10 minutes, we're going to take them out of the oven and let them cool. What I, in my family, we do cinnamon and sugar. And so I put cinnamon and sugar in a bag. How much? So really the taste, isn't it? Like, yeah. you like them really cinnamon? Probably a quarter of a cup. And... Uh -huh. I'll confess that I'll save this bag for my next round of donuts and reuse this. So I usually get at least two rounds of donuts. Not that I eat donuts all the time. It's okay if you do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if you buy, if you buy, um, if you buy the, the mold for every single kind of fancy cake and oh. whatever, like where do you put all this stuff? <laughs> yeah, so let me take. Can I ask you a question? Um, how bad or how thin should it be? It should be, um, not as thick as like buttercream, but it should be thick, um, and not that thin. Okay, so like a pancake mix or a little thicker? Yeah, a little thicker than a pancake mix. Okay. Okay, so I saw your, your, your cabinet there. That was, uh... <laughs> So I'm a little, I found out one of my friends is friends with someone who represents Nordic wear, who makes fun. Oh, pants. wow. And he, we went, this is back when you could go to parties and I made a bunt pan that looked like a sandcastle cake. Oh, I've seen those. Those are cool. So the guy was like, who made this cake? Who made Very this cake? Cool. And I said, I did. He's like, I sell Nordic wear. And he had me come to a showroom and I got to pick out four Oh. pans wow, wow. so that's, I, that's cool. I know the baker's pan guy <laughs> so if i ever need a sandcastle cake <laughs> yeah i i have a question so, about that so how much i think you made the um like a the star of david cake one time yep got that I, one i saw that and i bought the the pie the the cake pan, pan 
but everything stuck to the cre crevices. How do you they spray it enough? You have to spray. So that's when I use the spray with flour. And I spray the living daylights out of that. Yeah, paper. yeah. Because <laughs> I put it, I did, I sprayed it a lot, but it's still just, it was a mess. Yeah. Stephanie? Yes. Do we do the toothpick test at the six minute mark? Or yes. Do yes. The toothpick yeah. test at six minutes if you have a mini one. Yeah. And Stephanie, tell me like sugar and cinnamon, how much of each? Yes. I don't know. I So I do my mom's method until it looks right. Penny, I think it's to taste. So I said, I, it's, it's mostly I sugar with a little cinnamon. I Googled that to see when I was reading it before, like what the proportions are. And you know, if you Google it, there's nobody that tells you the proportion. They say, oh, get some sprinkles, you know. <laughs> That's so. because everybody, like, if you really like cinnamon. Matter of taste. Yeah. You're going to you're gonna put in a lot. I stopped after a while. Mine is mostly, you know, it's more sugar than it is cinnamon. You know? So, and if you ever go to the Spice House um, site, they have 12 different kinds of cinnamon. So. <laughs> well, that's sort of like paprika. A friend of mine who's Hungarian said, you know, there's no other kind of paprika. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, no, nope, mine's like just, you know, normal, whatever. And she goes, no, there's this kind and that kind. And, you know. They have a lot of paprika there, too. Yep, they where, do. Where is it, Stephanie? It's in, so they have one in Evanston, Illinois, which is near Northwestern. Uh-huh. And my in-laws live out. My in-laws live there. Oh, okay. Um, so we go there. Every time I visit them, we go. That's that, that the like experience I had. Every time we go to Chicago, Spice House was always on our list. So there's this amazing place in Truro, Massachusetts. If you've ever been to the, um, there's a winery in Truro of all things. And right down the street from that, there's a spice store, which is all like native stuff that they all grow. It's amazing. It smells delicious. You so know, I, I don't we, have we to went, go to Evanston. <laughs> we, Terry, it's funny because we went to the winery and we saw that place. And we didn't know what it was. You, well, back then, back in the good old days, um, we went and we bought like, I forget what we bought, but it was this giant container. We had to share it with like six people, you know, so. I put, I put the name in the chat. I think it's called the Atlantic Spice. Yep. It still exists. Yes. Thank yeah, you. I, I think yeah. it's the Atlantic it was Spice. There, it was there this summer, but we didn't go in, but. Um, because it was already COVID-ish time, but we did get to go to the Cape this summer. <laughs> so. I have friends that live in Singapore, and when they come to visit, which didn't happen this year, but they always ask, what spices do you want? So I give them a list, and they always bring cinnamon, because it's like the real stuff from there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They bring like cinnamon, some curry things, ginger. It probably doesn't yeah. cost what it costs here either. You know, no, you know I have never paid for it. I don't know how much it is. I when I was there, it, it's from Malaysia actually, and the store is wild. It's like it's like a shook kind of, but they have big vats and they go and they store so my minis. The spices. I love it. Oh wow! After, look at that. Did you put the, Did you did you um, test it with a? I, I didn't yet. I was going to ask Jill. Did you test yours yet? No, because I still have two minutes left. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mine are nowhere near. Wait, can I Mine see? Mine are it? nowhere near Here? done. Terry, can I see how yours look? Yep. I think they're done. Hold on. I was having a hard time keeping up with Stephanie. I think I was a slow one in the group. I was working very hard to keep up. Uh, when I did no. this over the summer with the, the kids. One kid was waiting for the milk to come from his mom. She was yeah, coming so from the grocery store. Wait, you know what surprises me about that is the color. They're yeah, so it looks perfect. very pale. Well, I think the cinnamon's going to give it some color, right? <laughs> yep. I still have two and a half minutes left of mine. The toothpick is coming out um, dry, so. Okay. Hey, so, Jill, Jill, I'm just a slow. I still have six minutes left. <laughs> hmm. Uh, I haven't put in my big ones yet because I put in the chips, so we'll see what happens with them. So you want to put them on the wire rack for five to seven minutes. Do I take them out of the? Yes. Okay. All right. This is my daughter who is looking, checking this all out. She's <laughs> a great, she's a great baker. <laughs> no, she's a, she's a great baker. So, uh, 
What? What is the flavor of your donut? It's going to be cinnamon, but oh. right now this is just the batter and you can add things. Penny, we had friends bring us um, oregano from Greece. Oh, oh yeah. That was game changer. <laughs> Right, it's so much better from other places. Yeah, it's like yeah. Um, when when uh, when I was in Israel with Temple Emanuel, somebody Zatar. said, oh. <laughs> "Yeah, Wayne Wayne Goldstein's wife said, bring home Zatar,' and he forgot. But we were at this, we were at, we were at a falafel place, and he said, so he of course Wayne he said to them, "So do you have Zatar?" And they said, "Yeah." He goes, "Can I have some?" And if you go and buy it, you know, so they put it in a bag, literally put it in a baggie. And um, and charged him like bupkis for us, you know, and he brought that home and it was delicious. You know? <laughs> so. How many minutes is it supposed to be in? For the the regular one is ten minutes and the mini is six minutes. They're just supposed to pop out, eh? Muffins maybe a little, maybe twelve. Yeah, Muff, muffins at least ten, if not longer. How many muffins did it make, Cheryl? Well, oh, good. Yeah, so it might be longer for that. I still have a whole bunch of batter left. I shouldn't, right? You did you make two pans worth? Twelve, yeah. Yeah, twelve standard. I think they're mini. They look a little small. I think oh, they're mini. You, so if you you can save it, and when when we take out the batter you can repam it and put more batter in the donut hole so what I donut thought donut. I thought maybe. Oh. how do they do they freeze I know they don't last very long in your house uh, you know I have to tell you now that Mark's home nothing lasts <laughs> um I love my kid but man he eats a lot of food yeah so Terry, a growing it's, young it's man. this minute Mark mine were not quite ready they were a little moist still which probably means I put more batter in them could be well, they're coming out now, so uh, wow, those are beautiful. All right. Oh, yeah, mine doesn't look like in. that. Are yours done, Penny? Oh, they no, look gorgeous. I just checked look them. They're that. not done. They're beautiful, Stephanie. Do they stay? You keep? Oh, you keep them out of the pan, or you um, remove? Just flip, flip them out onto a wire rack. Okay, so you don't wait till they're. Um, um, it, we're gonna it's shake not them like in. a cake. You can do it right away. Got it. So I'm gonna do them in frosting. Okay. So the one problem I see that I have is that I did not flatten them well enough, and so the hole is covered. Extra, extra. <laughs> yeah, extra. That's all right. I'll learn. I'm sure nobody's gonna complain when they eat. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. They look good. They look Here they are. Mm -hmm. So you gotta let them cool for about five minutes. Okay. Because we're the bottoms are a little. The bottoms are different than tops. So let me see if I can. Here's. So somebody besides my daughter asked me if you can. Um, why aren't we making? Oh, how come yours are so dark? This is the bottom. Mine? When I flip them out. Yeah. yeah. That's what mine looked like, too. Okay, the little ones didn't get dark, so. Mine are light. Should I cook them more? I would try, try at least another minute. Okay. Mine were too wet in the middle. When I put a toothpick in, it was all wet. Yeah, to at least two more minutes for that one. And then that one, that's fine with the the middle. It was extra. A little extra. But I think a little extra. They smell so good. That they have oh, that, Jen, those look great. Oh, those look really good. And now oh. I... Jen, those look great. Wow. Those look terrific. Do I have to spray the pan again, right? Yes. Yeah. Right. I have to put the next one in. They only had one left donut pan at Target. <laughs> There's a rush on donut pans. <laughs> Everybody knew you were doing this, Stephanie. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so like this one has a little extra, but that's not going to bother anyone in my family. Oh, totally. <laughs> the more to love. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I made Hanukkah cookies on Thursday or Friday, and they're, I don't know, I made 40 and they're gone. Of course. Do I have, uh, how long do we have to um, let them cool for? Five minutes? Five minutes. Okay. Thank you. I have a kid in the shower, so I'm multitasking at the same time. So. Everyone's house smell good now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, these are really quick. Like you can whip them up and for me, I can go back to work after I whip them up. Oh, goody. <laughs> I don't have an oven normally at work, so it's nice to get some fresh food while working. Everyone have their cinnamon and sugar in a bag? Okay, that's next, huh? So they're just going to stick to it? Is that the deal? Yeah, because once they cook, might have another minute. Because you, you do want them a little warm so it sticks to the warm donut. So should you let them cool before you put them on the rack? Um, I, flip the, I flip the donuts right out of the pan into the wire rack and let them cool for five minutes on the wire rack. Okay. And then you put the sugar on, right? Yep, uh, I'll show you that because I can do that on camera. So I had enough to make a few more uh, donuts, so I'm going for uh, more minis. Uh, Stephanie, I have a question for you. Because I have so many from, um, if I want to make some of them powdered sugar, is it the same way as sure. doing the cinnamon sugar, just powdered sugar? Yep, just put powdered sugar in a, in a bag. Uh -huh. And also you want that while they're sort of warm so it sticks more, is that the thinking? Yep. Okay, have you ever done that? I don't because powdered sugar makes a mess when my kids walk around. Uh -huh. <laughs> So I'm putting two donuts in my baggie. Okay. I seal the baggie. Yeah. And then I just kind of toss them around gently. Okay. It's not a solid coating like, you know, how Dunkin' Donuts does their powdered sugar. It's just a light coating. Right. That's lovely. Well, we are being, you know, we're baking as opposed to frying. We're being health conscious here. Ha, ha, ha. You can see them. You can see the little, I don't know, um, the beautiful. little sparkles. Just, just beautiful. How do these look, Stephanie? Yeah. They look good. Do they smell good? Do they, did you try yeah. the toothpick in them? Yeah, they came out kind of dry. They're, they're little, but yeah, they're good. Yeah. And I think once you know your oven, you, you know, I've made the donut so many times, I know it's 10 minutes in my oven. Well, and oftentimes, oven oftentimes when I cook, I'll put something new. I cook it, on, I undercook it for five or seven minutes and then taste test it out to make sure I haven't overbaked it. Uh, my Hanukkah present was an air fryer that does all sorts of other things. Me too. Um, and we're still figuring out, you know, how it works. So. I think it did not do anything for my big one. They're going in for longer. So I can see that the temperature is an important aspect of getting this to stick. Because <laughs> I think um, some of them are working, but the cooler ones not as well. So you could probably zap them like in a microwave for a few seconds or something. Yeah, or you put them back in the oven for a minute or two. I would do it in the oven, yeah. Yeah, the microwave yeah. adds another dimension. Okay. What are you doing? If um, the donut has cooled too much, you can 
put it in the oven for a minute just to heat up the outside. Okay. Donuts done. Muffins are still not done. Oh. <laughs> Your oven is particularly. Uh... So, how do they look? Let me see. <laughs> Penny, do you want to show one? Cheryl Sober, how are yours? Unmute. I have had the best time. This has been, I think, might have come out really well, and they're adorable. I can't wait to eat them for dessert tonight. <laughs> this was a fun class, girl. Yeah, it's great. I don't know a lot of you. I know. Right. I know well, you now you do. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's been fun connecting. Um, Actually, I have to go, if you can believe it. My husband and I have a Zoom dinner tonight. Well, enjoy your dinner. Sure. Thank you for coming. I am going to say, is there, Stephanie, is there anything else I need to know other than... No, that's it. In Pate of own. Stephanie, one more question. Thank so you excited. very, very much. This has been wonderful. I will do another one. Excellent. Yeah, I had fun with my hand. A round of applause for Stephanie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bye -bye. Thank you very much. Stephanie, Thank you. Put, uh, you put two donuts in the bag. Lot of fun. Two donuts in the bag. With the little ones, you can put a few more. Yeah, you can put like three or four in that one. Yeah. Oh, well, they came out good. They look great. Yeah, yeah your kitchen like smells good. Perfect. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Do get the now, do we get to sample as well? Yes. If you touch it, you want it. Very good. Stephanie, I have a question. Sure. Um, I don't like to bake anything dairy because I my mixer is par of. Um, but my granddaughter is dying to have apple cider donuts. Could I replace the milk with apple cider or does the... There's a, on King Arthur, there's a um, apple cider donut recipe. Okay. It's Okay. So I would do it that way. Okay, because I, I, you know, I know that that uh, that the density of the liquid makes a difference. Yeah. Too, so okay, thank you. I don't know if like soy, you know, like soy milk or something would work also. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't work for me. <laughs> <laughs> the sugar. Oh. I cook with almond. I cook with almond milk all the time, and you can't taste the difference. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because my, some, only, some my son doesn't drink. Yeah, I don't usually have milk in the refrigerator. So right. I use almond milk. And it's great because you can make everything par of. Well, I'm going to try it if I ever get to go to a grocery store again. Is the, donut, is the sugar supposed to be sticking to the donuts? Just a little. So it's supposed to stick a little. I mean, it's not going to be covered like. Okay. Right, okay. but it's lovely. Yeah, but it, it, you definitely get the flavor. Marilyn. Good job. Wow. Now, now, we have to, now we have to find people to eat them. <laughs> oh, I, I, R Rafi lives with us, so. <laughs> oh, not a problem. I tasted it. They're delicious. Excellent. Oh, mine are, they're very good. Well, how could they not be? You know? <laughs> it's very easy, and it's not a big time commitment. Oh, that's Thanks. great. Oh, I got to leave, but thank you so much, Stephanie. Thanks, this Joan. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Happy Hanukkah, everybody. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, okay. Cheryl. Uh, Good luck with the muffins. <laughs> Thanks. They're, I mean, they're, they're getting there. They're not on my rack either. So, <laughs> okay, Cheryl, you have to up your game here. <laughs> I'm, I'm in Vermont, so there's, there's, oh, forget oh. it. Because <laughs> I was like, don't you make muffins at home all the time? I make, you know. Yeah, no, I just don't have. Everything up oh, here. Vermont's a good place to be. You're, near, you're near King Arthur. So. <laughs> We're about an hour and a half. From yeah, Vermont's much bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> but we beat the snow. I shoveled for an hour and a half tonight. Wow. <laughs> Is there any snow in Vermont, Cheryl? Did you guys get this storm? There's like, I would say two feet. Wow. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. You should really will, enjoy your donuts because you burn like 90 minutes. I also have to run, but thank you, Steph. Thanks, thank Marilyn. You, Terry. Thanks for coming. All, All right. right. Good. I'm signing off too. Stephanie, great Thanks, job. Thanks, Jill. Thank you. Thank you. They're coming out great. You, yep. Excellent. Oh, Penny, they look good. great. Penny, very nice. Oh, Jennifer. Perfect. Cool. Excellent, Jen. A vegan nice. cousin uses Lily's sugarless chocolate, which she says is really good. She used to have a cooking a cookie company, but uh, so that might be worth it for someone who wants something a little healthier. I don't know okay, if I'd if be you're going to go for it. You got to go all the way. <laughs> so thank you. Thanks, Joe. Oh, take care, Joanne. Happy Hanukkah. See you on Happy Facebook. Hanukkah. Bye. Happy hey, Hanukkah. Stephanie, Stephanie, Terry, thank you so much. Yeah, this is you. It's a blast. Yeah, this is Excellent. Great. Enjoy the donuts. Thanks. Figure out something next Thanks, thing. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I Terry. Like Good luck. Now. Okay. Bye-bye.